I am Mark Borchardt. I am the head of the Vision Center at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Within the Vision Center, we are focused on three different areas that involve the study and treatment of eye diseases. And these include research, education, and patient care. We are one of the busiest pediatric eye care centers in the world. We see more than 15,000 patients a year here. We do well over 1,000 surgeries a year here. And we take care of the most difficult problems with the most cutting edge technologies. My name is Dr. Thomas Lee. I'm a surgeon over at Children's Hospital Los Angeles and I focus on children who have problems inside the eye in a part of the eye called the retina. Benjamin has always had this little freckle in his left eye that we've we've called it his special eye and since he was a baby we've always watched he's got beautiful blue eyes but he has always had this little brown freckle and we never thought much of it always just uh, knew it was just a little birthmark and this past summer some of our pictures started to come back with a little flash in his left eye that we thought was just a reflection of that birthmark we didn't really think that much of it I started to poke around a little on the internet and learned quickly that that can be a sign of something called retinoblastoma. We basically drove in a panic uh, from the specialist office to the hospital and as we went in uh, Dr. Lee was actually waiting for us and he immediately uh, dilated uh, Benjamin's eye and then looked in it and uh, came back to us and said look I don't think it's retinoblastoma I think it's Coates but I'm gonna call Dr. Murphy right now and just get a little bit of a second opinion. I know what how devastating it is to give this diagnosis of cancer it's the death of the perfect child, you know. Everybody has thoughts about what they would like their child to be, to look like, and suddenly not only are we saying it's cancer, but, you know, it's the eye. It's the, it's, it's the a major way that we see the world and people see us. This can sometimes be a very difficult diagnosis and course for the parents. And for those children who are gonna go on to have a visual deficit, there's a heavy emotional burden that goes with the parents and we recognize that at the Vision Center. When you go through an experience of uh, learning that your child's lost his vision and will be having surgery, <laughs> you want the best care you can get. And uh, in a very short time, um, through research, as well as, frankly, the uh, personal conduct that we witnessed uh, from Dr. Murphy and Dr. Lee, I was incredibly comfortable that I was ready to move right in and uh, allow Benjamin to go through a uh, uh, laser surgery three days after meeting Dr. Lee. Children and parents who are having difficulty with their vision, and it's a severe form of visual loss, will be seen by our child development specialist who has a PhD in child psychology. And she helps and the children as well as the parents work through these very difficult times. We had the best doctors and we were at the best facility in the nation, in the country, in the world, and didn't have to fly anywhere. We had it right here in our own backyard. Oh. Fortunately for Benjamin, the result was not cancerous. Oh! It is Coats disease, which is a lifelong disease, and uh, we don't know exactly what it has in store for Benjamin, but we know that uh, there's probably a lot that Dr. Lee has in store for Coats disease. Uh, I know that uh, the things they've done already have changed the world of vision, and we are so proud to be the benefactors of, of their previous work and research in this field, and we hope that. Uh, the hospital will continue to support them and that uh, your, through your help they will be able to continue to change vision therapy and vision treatments uh, one patient and one research initiative and one family at a time. At the Vision Center we're passionate about children and we're passionate about their vision. The center was established so that if a child ever did have a problem with their eyesight they would be able to come and have access to the best possible care through great physicians and great technology. It is our hope that a child who does come to our center will ultimately leave with the ability to see and enjoy a sunset. Everyone at the Vision Center would like to extend their deep gratitude to the Society of Camera Operators for your long and continued support. Both of us work to make sure that children can go into a movie theater and see beautiful images and hear beautiful stories. And it's our combined efforts that allow this to happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.